Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to flash your Samsung Galaxy S4 with the official stock ROM from Samsung. You might need to flash your Samsung Galaxy S4 in case you are having trouble getting OTA updates from Samsung if you have rooted your device or you want to send the device to Samsung to claim your warranty. For me I want to flash this Samsung Galaxy S4 because I have rooted this device and I can't get the OTA updates from Samsung. So I will root this device and get back the official ROM. I will show you if I go here about device and go to software update. Here you can see that this device won't get the OTA update from Samsung because it's rooted. As you can see it says your device has been modified, software updates are not available. For flashing your device you need to have official Samsung ROM which you can download from sammobile.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Also you'll need Odin 3 and you'll need Samsung keys to install Samsung Galaxy S4 drivers. That's very important if you want to flash your Samsung Galaxy S4. So first of all you'll need to check you'll need to go to develop options as you can see there's no developer options you need to go in about device and just tap on build number and you can see develop mode, developer mode has been enabled so here are the developer options you need to check USB debugging now that's it now you have to power off the device Make sure the battery level is above 80%. I have 67% but I'll work with that. We'll power off the device. And also if you have any data on your phone, back up your device because all your data will be erased. Also if you continue moving forward with this, you are responsible for it. I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your phone. You might break your phone, anything can happen, I'm not responsible. You are solely responsible for whatever happens if you proceed. Let's get going. Now we'll need to start it in the download mode. For starting in download mode you need to press volume down, the home button and the power button at the same time. And then press volume up to continue. As you can see the system status is custom, it's not official, so we'll try to make it official. On the PC you'll need to start Odin and run it as administrator. And then connect your Samsung Galaxy S4 with the PC. If everything works well and your drivers are installed. Odin 3 will show a com here. As you can see, com 14 has come. And now you'll need to check auto reboot and a free set time. Do not check repartition. I'm saying again, do not check repartition. And from PDA, you need to select the download stock ROM. As this is the stock ROM which I have downloaded already. This will end in .tar. We'll open it. It's checking for MD5. We have to wait. Please wait. It's saying do not unplug the cable. I'll quickly move forward. Now as you can see, it's finished checking it. Now that's it. Now you have to press start. It'll take some time. I'll quickly move forward. Here you can see the progress. But it's advised not to touch the phone or move the cables as the phone might get disconnected. 
I'll pause the video here and start again when it finishes. So it says now pass and all threads completed, succeed 1, fail 0 and removed. The phone has restarted. The first boot will take time, so don't panic. I'll just quickly move forward. Let's go. Now, if you go to status you can see it has come back to official let's check the updates the latest updates have already been installed so now you can get the OTA updates also after just flashing your ROM it's highly recommended that you do a hard reset of the phone for doing the hard reset we'll need to reboot the phone Now you'll need to press the volume up, home button and power button at the same time and release the keys when the Samsung logos disappear. Release it. Now here as you can see you'll need to go to wipe data factory reset. To move down you'll need to press the volume down button, to select you'll need to press the power button. Let's press the power button and go to yes delete all user data saves data wipe complete and now we'll need to reboot this might also take some time I'll quickly move forward So your phone is as new as you bought it for the first time. So this is it. This is how you flash your Samsung Galaxy S4 with the stock ROM. If you like the video then please click the like button at the bottom of the video. For more unboxing reviews and tips and tricks about various devices, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye.